Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. The Atomic Shop just updated earlier on today and I did a full review of it. If you haven't seen it and you want to check it out, feel free to go ahead. But today we're going to be covering the new bundle as well as the awesome new Fallout first item that came in. So I hope you all enjoy. If you do, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe and let's dive straight in. Alright guys, first thing we're going to cover is that new bundle that we got, and this included a bunch of new stuff, including a new outfit, a new prefab, some fires, which sound very interesting, and I've got to be honest guys, these are going to be fantastic for builders. It also included a tree sap collector and a mounted rad hog head. Pretty solid items. First of all, we have the Lookout Outfit. This is sadly only a reskin of the Trench Runner's coat and hood, but overall not too bad of an item. It would have been nice to see something completely new, but I'm not going to complain too much, and let's go on to the next item. Following that, we got the new Watch Post Prefab. Now, this is ideal for people that want tree houses and maybe just can't be bothered to actually make one. You can build four of these in total, and it's a pretty solid looking item. The only downside to it, I would say, is the actual size of the room in the top of the tree house. It is quite limiting, but I suppose if you've got four of them, you could make each one a room for certain things a bedroom, crafting, whatever you like. But overall, pretty decent looking item, I think. Now next on the list is the fires. There's three of these in total. There is the small one, the medium one, as well as the large one. And I've got to be honest, guys, these are fantastic. You can use a small one in your stove or something to make it look like it's cooking. You can hide them inside a razor grain or something if you wish to give you a bit of lighting effect at your camp. Or you could do some dodgy ritual stuff if you're a Mothman fan or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, you can do some really cool things with these and I can't wait to see what people come up with. Now the next one on the list is the Tree Sap Collector. Now this one's really interesting because this one is a new item that actually collects resources for you. And the item that it's going to collect is actually adhesive. Something that's really good in the game that you're going to use a lot, whether you're repairing weapons, crafting stuff, whatever you like, you're going to need as adhesive. So this one's a pretty solid item, but there is a couple of downsides. As always, guys, I like to have the positives and the downsides together. And the downside is going to be that it only crafts you one or collects you one adhesive every like i don't know 10 minutes or something it feels like i'm not gonna lie guys it felt like a while and when i checked it and only had one i was slightly disappointed but i suppose it is something that you can just leave at your camp ticking over and just keep collecting the adhesive for you now the final item in this bundle is going to be the mounted rad hog head. I did say in the actual video of the Atomic Shop review where I said hopefully this is a sign of a new enemy to come into the game. I still would love to say that, not going to lie, but I've got to be honest, it probably isn't. We do have a gorilla mounted head in the game and this is just a kind of another mounted head for the collection. We still don't have gorillas so the chances are probably very slim, but either way I'd still love to see it. Now saving the best item to last, it has to be the new vendor bot. This is a Fallout First exclusive and if you've got Fallout First you will get it for free and it should be available all month in the Atomic Shop. Now this thing is fantastic, I absolutely love it. It's really similar to Yes Man in Fallout New Vegas and it is quite small I could say as possibly a, as a downside maybe. Uh, it's actually like shorter than your actual player so it is a little bit small but the animations, the sound effects and stuff are just brilliant. You can build four of these like any other vendor and it just looks just just beautiful absolutely beautiful i love this thing i love the faces it pulls the little movements and stuff the sound effects may get a little bit annoying after a while same as all of them or same as anything really but overall this is such a solid item and i absolutely love it but there you go guys that is all of the new items into the atomic shop this week and what a week it is the only thing i would say about this is possibly the bundle was slightly expensive look they had enough atoms lying around on my account to buy it but it was 1800 atoms for them items but there was some really solid ones in there i suppose you got the tree sap collector collecting you adhesive as much as it is only one every 10 minutes or whatever it is and then you've got the fires which are just fantastic for camp builders the prefab which is pretty solid and the outfit which is just a reskin so i would like to have seen this a bit cheaper and 
yeah overall it is a solid item a solid bundle though but it's just the, the 1800 price tag that's normally a power armor uh, kind of like bundle and this doesn't have any power armor so why is it 1800 please tell me someone anyways really solid bundle and the vendor bot is just beautiful so some really good items this week in the atomic shop and a great kind of advertisement for bethesda to get people to get fallout first just for that vendor bot so fair play bethesda anyways guys that's it for the review hope you all enjoyed if you did hit that like button make sure to subscribe and i will catch you all in the next one bye bye